Hi friends! Today we're going through all of the fibre that I am currently using and have at my disposal. Uh, let's not waste too much time, let's get right into it. Let's begin with scrap yarn. How wonderful it is that you can turn it into essentially free fibre. If you don't count the fact that you had to buy the yarn that it came from. <laughs> the first time I delved into turning scrap yarn into fibre for spinning was when I bought some dog brushes a couple of months ago because I didn't have enough money for hand carters because they're expensive. Um, but recently I invested in some hand carters and they are so helpful, like they really changed the game for me. It has so much more surface area for one. They are like arguably as effective as dog brushes, but the surface area are kind of what sets it apart. Um, feeling like I have way more of a process around it now. So let's go through my process for how I pr like turn my, all of my scrap yarn into fiber that is usable for spinning. First of all, I start with getting your tail ends and just laying them out onto your carders or your dog brushes, whatever you're using, and just card that shit until it's until it's all like fluffed up again. If I'm using my scrap yarn to blend with other fibers, instead of making a rollag, I'm just gonna take it off the carders and start blending everything together. You can be as organized or as liberal as you want with this, but just start placing them anywhere in whatever way feels good. And once they're all blended together really nicely, just grab two knitting needles, sandwich that little end bit of the fiber in between them, and then just start literally rolling it up. That's why it's called a roll leg. And then it's all ready to spin. Um, spin your scraps. It's my new movement. Spin your scraps, spin your scraps. My next bundle of joy. <laughs> it's all of these wonderful comb, comb tops. And they are, these ones are merino. And they are um, 50 grams each. And they're really, really beautifully dyed as well. The colors are stunning. To accompany them, I also have two 25 gram bits of silk in my favorite colors ever. <laughs> These are wonderfully soft and I'm planning on approaching all of this fiber in two different ways. I'm wanting to blend some of them together, so making some blended carded roll eggs out of the fiber and see what kind of colour combos I can get doing that. But I also do want to spin some directly from the um, comb top. So just want, I just want to see if the yarn feels different coming from roll eggs and carding than it does coming from combed fibre. Because this is made with combs, which is very different. third very exciting little segment of my life at the moment is processing this cotton that I've got from my friend's farm. It comes with all of the shit in it and I have to clean the whole thing and I get some cotton out of it. So I have cleaned some and carded some already. Um, I've even started trying to spin some. I think for the cotton I want to get a new, another really light spindle because the fibres in cotton are really short. <laughs> you know how you've got like staple length and everything? But the staple length is like really 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 short and so it's a bit of an adjustment spinning cotton in comparison to what I've spun already being like wool and stuff um, because 
you can't really draft too far away from each other because it just breaks really easily. So um, that's been a bit of a learning curve. This is all I've done so far with the cotton. I wasn't really in the mood that day, <laughs> but it's very interesting to spin and I want to try and spin it as thin as possible so I can ply it because I think I'm going to need it to be a little bit stronger. I think my plan with spinning this is to process and spin enough for it to be just like a mini skein. I want to see what it's like from the start to the end um, so I can go into this project as educated as possible. <laughs> because it's so much work and I have so much to get through, it's going to be simmering away amongst all my other things that I'm doing and when I have some spare time I can just like work on it but it's not my biggest priority because it's such a big project it's going to be like in the background and getting worked on over time because it's going to take bloody ages but it is very exciting it feels extremely different than just buying already prepared fibre online which I also really appreciate because you can just get right in there and do it. <laughs> that is all of the fibre that I have in my studio at the moment. I am slowly working through it all and I'm learning lots very quickly. And I really want to get a bit spinning wheel, but they are very expensive. So a drop spindle is doing <laughs> just fine right now and teaching me a lot of patience. And everyone should spin. If you're looking for a sign to start spinning, this is it.